Well, good evening, class of 2019. Man, it's truly an honor to be here tonight. Don't you all agree? Celebrating this truly wondrous accomplishment. There are, there are about three and a half million high school graduates every year, and about 10,000 graduations in the month of May. Therefore, there are many across the country, even across the world, that have their own meaning of graduation. And hopefully today, we Central's class of 2019 will be able to define what graduation means to us. Now, if we think about this, it's quite difficult to find a definitive answer about the true meaning of graduation. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the word graduation is the award or acceptance of an academic degree or diploma. However, let's be honest, that definition doesn't give graduation the credit it truly deserves. Am I right? All right. We are all here because we made it to a milestone. A milestone that states that we are ready for the next step in life. Throughout high school, everyone had different experiences that helped define who they are today. While everyone may have taken similar classes, the lessons learned can vary differently from person to person. It is true that the purpose of the classes we take are meant to teach us about a particular subject and its fundamentals. But in reality, we take away so much more even if we don't realize it. For example, everyone here has taken some form of math course, and it's an important subject to learn, that is true. You need it in many fields that you go into, and there are many different types of math that you can study. The standard lessons taught by an average math course involve showing students various formulas and administering some practice problems. While this is important information to teach, it only scratches the surface of the true purpose of the course. Some may learn that they are extremely interested in the field and want to pursue it as a future career choice. Others may completely abhor the side of the field and avoid a career involving it altogether, which is okay. Regardless, information like this is vital for a high school student to learn to ensure success in their future. If a student doesn't know what they excel in or enjoy, they will never be able to decide what they wish to do with their life and become lost. A vital reason for the classes we've taken, for the experiences that we have been on, is not solely for learning information and passing tests, but figuring out our true purpose in life. Not only has the curriculum that we have taken matter to achieve true success, it is those teaching the curriculum and the staff guiding the process as well. Without proper mentors in our life, the entire concept of high school ceases to exist and there's no point in coming here. Let's consider this for a moment. Is it truly possible to go through the high school experience all by yourself, with no one at all beside you? You can acquire books from the internet or a bookstore. You can read through them and memorize them, sure. You can quiz yourself and move on to the next lessons. So why don't we just do that? Well, the blatant truth is, that process is very hard and it's very confusing. I, for one, would have a nervous breakdown if I were to go through this entire experience all by myself. It is simply impossible. In a way, graduation doesn't just commemorate the work of the students. While they are the primary focus of graduation, it is also important to appreciate the ones that helped along the way. For me, as a personal story, Principal Madry and Counselors Campbell and Legrand have helped guide my academic career to success. Let's give Principal Madry a big round of applause. So the ways they helped me, the counselors, for instance, let me know about events such as college fairs and scholarship opportunities to aid my search for higher education. At one of the college fairs I went to, I decided what university I was going to attend. I'm going to go to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in 2020 and even receive scholarship money as well. <laughs> Principal Madry has aided me with all of my questions regarding district, district requirements and opportunities. Without his help, many of the opportunities I have been offered wouldn't have, wouldn't have, wouldn't have occurred at all and I'd be very lost leaving high school. I wouldn't know what to do. So, 
to all the parents, all the counselors, principals, staff, and anyone else that have helped along the way. Give yourself a round of applause. While we, as a graduating class, have learned and matured over the course of our four-year experience, another key factor of graduation is the massive amount of effort that we have invested thus far. There is no doubt that there have been struggles throughout our academic career. I know I've had them. But regardless of the circumstances, the past four years were certainly not a walk in the park. Some may have needed to pull a couple of all-nighters to finish that important project. Some may have worked a job in addition to their academics. And as a result, sometimes slept during class. No matter how smart, strong, or talented someone is, you are going to experience some form of struggle. High school, the real world, is no exception to this rule. While the struggles were difficult to overcome, the fact that all of you are here today means that we have overcome them. Now let's, let's take the time to readdress the question again. What does it really mean to graduate? So much feeling, experience, and emotions are crammed into the word graduation, it's really hard to get that solid definition. So in reality, graduation boils down to how the individual perceives it. Depend, it all depends on how hard they worked and how much they have benefited from high school. That determines what graduation truly means. However you think about graduation, be proud that we are all here, because each and every one of us gave our all to experience this moment that we call graduation. As Tom Brokaw once said, you are educated. Your certification is in your degree. You may think, about, you may think of it as the ticket to the good life. Let me ask you to think of an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. Thank you, and God bless.